Feds partnered with CVS and Walgreens to provide pending COVID-19 vaccinations to all senior care residents and staff, and COVID-19 relief talks resume as emergency funding for LTC providers begins to dry up. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I am Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Residents and staff of all long term care settings will receive free vaccinations against the coronavirus on site under a special public private partnership with pharmacy retail giants CVS and Walgreens, federal health officials announced on Friday. The program will be available for residents in all long term care settings, including skilled nursing facilities, nursing homes, assisted living facilities, residential care homes, and adult family homes, according to CMS. Additionally, the offerings will be available, quote, in most rural areas that may not have an easily accessible pharmacy, CMS added in the statement. It is not known yet when a vaccine might be approved by federal health authorities, but the CMS statement expressed hope on Friday that it would be by the end of the year. According to regulators, CVS and Walgreens will schedule and coordinate on-site clinic dates directly with each facility. Quote, three total visits over approximately two months are likely to be needed to administer both doses of vaccine if indicated to residents and staff, CMS said. The private pharmacy companies also will be enlisted to handle all reception, distribution, and storage of the vaccines and other supplies, including PPE, syringes, and needles. Providers can start signing up to take part in the optional program and specify which pharmacy company it would, would prefer on site. Nursing homes will be able to sign up via the National Healthcare Safety Network, while assisted living facilities can sign up via an online survey they will receive. Providers may also opt to stick with current pharmacy providers if they so choose. The White House and federal lawmakers have resumed negotiations on another COVID-19 relief bill, which could come in the nick of time for some long-term care providers. On October 6th, as he was recovering from a coronavirus diagnosis, President Trump said he was halting negotiations between his staff and Democrats until after the November 3rd election. The move was sharply criticized by provider group Leading Age, among others, which blasted, quote, shutting down any hope of additional resources to fight the pandemic is surrendering to the virus and recklessly endangering more lives. A few days later, Trump reversed field saying, I shut down talks two days ago because they weren't working out, he said. Now they are starting to work out. We're starting to have some very productive talk. But even though talks have restarted, the two sides had yet to agree on the overall cost of the stimulus package. The White House has proposed a $1.6 trillion bundle, while House Democrats passed a $2.2 trillion proposal earlier this month. Long-term care providers should be able to, quote, make it until there is a coronavirus vaccine widely available if another federal stimulus package comes by the end of the year, Mark Parkinson, American Healthcare Association president and CEO, predicted last week. Overall, Congress has provided about $175 billion to the Department of Health and Human Services Provider Relief Fund, which provides needed dollars to healthcare providers impacted by COVID-19. About $10 billion of that funding has specifically been dedicated for nursing homes. Parkinson recently noted that nearly all of the $175 billion in relief has been spent, despite coronavirus cases continuing to rise in large parts of the country. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday. <music>